Rivers formed due to runoff of water came from elevated land features such as mountain and volcano during rainfall with the help of gravity. Rivers supply the water and nutrients to lower places which is necessary for organism. It also serves as habitat to various species but in habitant place rivers serves commonly as drainage when typhoon or tides occurs. But with the intervention of mankind to natural structure, it brought imbalance and destruction specifically to Nerton rivers. May isa pang sinisisi si Marikina Mayor Marcy Chudu Doro, sa bahang dinanas ng kanyang lungsod na mas matindi pa raw sa nangyari nung bagyong Ondoy. Yan ay ang ginagawang reclamation sa isang bahagi ng Marikina River. And we will talk about land reclamations. Land reclamations is the process of creating a new land into the oceans, rivers, seas, swamps, or even lakes or to any bodies of water. The process is simply peeling up the area, touching the bedrock. They use soil, cement, clay, or mud until the desired height is reached. It is used for public use such as building subdivisions, businesses, or even any infrastructure. Now, the actual situations happen on reclamations of rivers is this. Noticing that the water from our river is ranging to 2 cm. And if we reclaim the rivers, putting the cement into the natural basin of the rivers, the water rises. And what if more reclamations happen, more and more activity, more cement put into the natural basins of rivers. From 2 cm, the water rises up to 3 cm. Imagine if typhoon strikes, the natural basin act as a container such as oceans, rivers, or seas are not enough to absorb or to be pit that the rains given by the typhoons. Just like what happened in Marikina, Typhoon Ulysses. Philippines is surrounded by bodies of water such as rivers. We benefit from it by having water supply, but for hydro vehicles such as boats and massive container when typhoon strikes. Government and businessmen must do an action to prevent reclamation and protect other species that within the country. Thank you.